Welcome to the Museum Roadshow. I'm Roger Engstrom. Today we're out at the farm of Brad and Lisa Hoffert. We're visiting with uh, Pam uh, Scary, and she's going to be sharing some memories that she has, that her mother shared with her. Her mother was Hannah Tong Schmidt, and uh, bought this uh, farm that's been in the family, been in existence for over 100 years. I'm standing outside of my mother's home. She was uh, born in this house. Uh, she was born in 1917. She was Hannah Amelia Elizabeth Tong, the oldest of three Tong children born here. Um, brother Irwin was born in 1920, and brother Charles in 1922. Uh, mother always was very proud of her Swedish home, uh, Swedish home in the United States. Uh, her great, her grandfather, Andrew Tong, built this home. Uh, Mom always was impressed by the workmanship very proud of the fact that um, their plaster was done much like they did in Sweden and um, they used back plastering method where they'd plaster the laths and then they would also go over a second coating, make it much stronger and use fibers in the plaster to make sure the walls would maintain their shape, not crack over the years and eventually I'm sure there are some cracks but she was very proud of how her home was built and um, in traveling back to Sweden uh, she did go to some of the homes there that the ancestors had and they also were made very well and and I think some of those things were brought to the United States by the workmanship and craftsmanship of the Swedish immigrants. Um, this home uh, when mom grew up uh, had three porches, a parlor, five bedrooms and they entertained people regularly sometimes relatives, sometimes hired hands working on the farm, and just travelers coming through in early Detroit, which later became Detroit Lakes. Um, Mom told stories of in the wintertime, the roads were so poor that travelers and relatives, neighbors would leave their cars here when she was a young girl and travel here with a horse and buggy, get their cars, drive to Detroit Lakes, do their things, do their shopping and, and errands, then drive back here, take their buggies, and go back home. As the road systems at that time were very poor and um, not very travelable, uh, a lot of guests came to this home because it was on what was considered more of a main road. When my mother was born, she was born in this home on August 20th, and she, in 1917, she was quite small, about, about four pounds. So she was kept warm in the kitchen on a stove in a shoebox, and she thrived. She did very well, but um, I know she always was a little amazed when she heard the story about how small she was and what they did to keep Hannah warm. Uh, this house had a summer kitchen, and that still is on the house. It's now in a laundry room, but way back in the day, they had a summer kitchen to keep the heat out of the the kitchen inside of the home and uh, using wood heat of course they would want to keep that heat as far away from the inside interior of the house as possible but a lot of their canning and summer cooking was done in the summer kitchen there was a little romance on the tong farm back in the 30s my mother hannah met one of the hired hands uh, art schmidt who of course in the future became was my father in 1938, they were married, and they moved about a mile north of the Tong home place and started up their home. And uh, at the time, it wasn't real popular that she married the hired hand, and I don't think it was because he was the hired hand. I think it was because he was German. And um, they got over that, though, and uh, Mom and Dad, uh, we had, they had eight children, and uh, that was uh, the, married, the romance on the Tong farm. You can't really talk about Hannah Tong and the Tong family without talking about Sweden. Uh, you, can't, you also have to talk about Uppsala. Uh, when, uh, when Andrew Tong came to the United States, he actually was Andrew Johnson. And he came about 1869. And he and several other uh, immigrants from Sweden decided to form a church. The church was, uh, became Uppsala. It's about two, year, two miles north of here and um, they actually constructed the church and uh, it's the oldest church in Becker County. It still is in its original site, in its original condition and um, 
it would be rem remiss to not talk about Uppsala when talking about the tongs. We're standing in what was at one time the summer kitchen of the Tong home with all the baking and cooking they did. They had a, a summer kitchen so that they wouldn't have to heat up the rest of the home. And so if you follow me, I'll show you what's next. Now we're in the kitchen area. This was the kitchen dining room. And at one time there was a door leading to a porch going outside that the family used to use in the summertime. One of the three porches on this house that were on this house at one time. And now we'll walk through to the living area. This was the living room that the Tongs used for their own use and um, pointing out that the, the heat, there was a large register in the floor. It is still there under the carpet. And then they had registers in the ceiling, typical of many homes to raise the heat up as much as possible. And they did burn wood in this house. Over here is a door that went out to another porch that used to go out. Um, it was a little fancier porch and it used to go out to the front yard. This room was the parlor. It had some French doors that you were you to come in and it was always ready for company. Um, when Adolf died in um, 1938, there was, uh, he was laid in this room until they took him up to Uppsala for burial, but uh, the family viewed him in this parlor. And um, the same windows, the bay window was still here. Now we're coming up to the stairs um, of the Tong home. To my right is the bathroom. Um, the, this home was very early in having a modern bathroom with running water. And to my left, one of the smaller bedrooms still has the original woodwork. To my left, the bedroom facing the highway. And if you notice, it had a window up here which could be open to let the air move around without opening your bedroom door. And uh, a lot of hallways in this home. And when I was in Sweden, they did have the same thing where they had a lot of hallways. And I even saw coffee tables where you could go up and have a, coffee, a cup of coffee and a lunch with someone in your home upstairs. This is the closet that we spent a lot of time playing in when we were young girls at the Tong home. Now we're going into the room that was my mother's bedroom. And um, as a girl, I used to come over and play with the cousins uh, when the Tong girls shared this bedroom. And it also has the window over the doorway to allow for the air to move and a heat ventilator to try to bring some of the heat from the living room up to heat the upstairs. Mm -hmm.